Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome simulator on Scratch. Its name is Fractal Trees. You might think that drawing a tree requires an artistic talent and a lot of fussy work, but this project does the job automatically. The code creates special shapes called fractals, simulating the way that trees grow in nature. When you run the project, a tree grows in a split second from the ground up. The tree is a fractal, a shape made from a repeating pattern. If you zoom in in just one part of the fractal, it looks similar to the whole shape. This repetition is easily generated in a computer program by using loops. An algorithm is a set of simple instructions that are followed in a strict order. In this project, the code that draws the tree is also based on an algorithm. Follow these steps to build a fractal tree using Scratch's ball sprite for leaves and the Scratch pen to trace branches. The code creates new clones each time a branch divides, making more and more clones as the tree grows from a single trunk to a mass of twigs. After adding the ball sprite from the library, rename it Leaf. Open the Costumes tab and choose the green costume. Click on Variables and make the following variables for your project. Angle, Length, and Shrink Factor. Ignore all the other variables that are there. Add this code to the Leaf sprite. Remember, you'll need to add the pen extension. You'll also need to create two new messages. Draw Branch and Split Branch. Don't run it yet. Now add this separate code. When it receives the draw branch message from the main code, it tells every clone to draw a branch and then changes the settings so the next branch will be greener and thinner. next bit of code to make the branches divide. It works by cloning each ball, forming a pair, and rotating them to face different directions. Once this code is run, there will be two clones at the end of every branch, each facing a different direction, ready to draw the next two branches. Run the project and you should create a beautiful tree. To make the leaves disappear and show only the twigs, click the red stop symbol on the stage. To make your tree stand out better and look more attractive, try changing the backdrop color. Black is a preferred color for a backdrop. Why don't you try experimenting with the value of angle in the first orange block? You could also add a pick random block to generate randomly shaped trees. If you want to keep the trees looking natural, set the maximum and the minimum to 10 and 45. To make playing with the variable easier, 
check its box to show it on the screen and turn it into a slider. You need to delete set angle block from the code as you do this. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.